everyone, I'm Catherine and these are my course mates, Sophie, Martha, Kim and Beth. Together we are Signature PR and today we'll be presenting the ideas that we developed for Hampshire Fire and Rescue's Distracted Walkers campaign. Our pitch is about 20 minutes long and any questions that you may have we'll be more than happy to answer at the end. Okay, so to start the pitch we're going to um, introduce a serious issue that we wanted to tackle with our integrated public relations campaign. We'll then show you the primary research that we conducted, which should lead us nicely onto revealing the big idea, the exciting part. Um, we'll then show you how we applied the idea to various different media, and Martha will finish up with an evaluation. Okay, so road safety among those aged 16 to 25 is a growing concern, with an increasingly high proportion of young people being killed or injured in road incidents. In 2008, 572 pedestrians were killed and 27,910 were injured. So obviously it's a, a huge issue that we need to tackle. Research shows that MP3 players and mobile phones are largely to blame for this because they distract visual attention and lead to the inability to detect warning sounds and take evasive action. So we wanted to devise a campaign that would make young people think about their personal actions, unplug themselves from their technological devices and carry on living and enjoying their lives. So in order to find out why people listen and use electronic devices while they're walking on the street, we decided to make an online questionnaire and a paper survey. So according to our paper survey, we found out that 9% of the respondents never listen to music as they walk on the street, which is a really small amount of people. In addition, we found out that 0% of the respondents never talk on the phone while um, they're walking on the street. Again, really, really, small, like, really small amount of people. According to our online questionnaire, we found out that the average, people, the average volume people listen to is number seven, which is huge because number 10 is the maximum, <coughs> so they might not be aware of this one because they basically don't hear anything. Um, over 50% of the people actively listen, um, listen to music or use their phone while they're walking on the street, which is again, it basically became a norm in our society to use electronic devices because we live in such a busy world. Um, this, this is really important for us as a campaign that we found out that 75% 75% of the people think that road safety advertising can make a change. So that's important for us because we can make a change with our advertising to make people aware of their surroundings. So we wanted to find out why people listening to this, listen to music or use electronic devices. And it's quite simple. Things actually come up like entertainment because they're bored, because of loneliness, just escapism, passing time. So they basically just want to do something while they walk. In addition to our other types of research, we also created a blog, uh, which we used to uh, write about our ideas, test them out um, amongst PR professionals and get some feedback. And with this feedback, um, we devised our campaign. We also were given the brief uh, to target 18 to 24 year olds, but actually when we were doing the surveys, we found that those from 16 to 18 were also really one of our targets for this campaign. Um, so we therefore conducted two different focus groups one with 16 to 18 year olds in a local youth club, and one with 18 to 24 year olds at Southampton Fair Local Youth. Firstly, we asked them general questions about why they use electronic devices uh, whilst they're walking, and then we showed them some advertising to test out what ideas might work on them. How many of you walk and use your iPods? Okay, all of you. And how many of you walk and text or use your mobile phone? Okay, that's all of you again. Text in, text. <laughs> <laughs> bored. Because you're bored. Anyone else? Just same thing. Songs. Yeah. It meant the, the walk less boring. Pass the time. It's going to do. And use the time you walk to do some important calls, let's say, yeah. not just random time. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh. find out more stuff. Find out more stuff. Yeah, like what's happening. Well, the time I did stop, because I was walking into a lamppost, but <laughs> that, I don't think I'm going to stop often. Then. As long as you can sit, you're right. Oh, right, okay. You, you think of the conversation, so you're walking and also put the phone and then you talk with someone else. Yeah, the sun goes up both going at the same time. <laughs> do they? Yeah, yeah, they have got one in. Talking on the front, so yeah. do, you, do you two do that? Yeah. They really can always. I have done. It says stuff like, um, Excuse me, please. <laughs> that's so I don't think that's a good advertise because it doesn't affect you, it's just a funny, funny yeah. picture. I don't think that's going to happen. Really. Would you stop and look at that? Can you tell what it means? 
Yeah. You wouldn't pay yeah. much attention if you had your own problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to know statistics. I mean, that's just me personally. But I don't need to see someone with fake blood over there. I mean, it just looks like an advert for a horror film. Can you tell what it means? Yeah. yeah. Don't eat pizza when you're driving. Don't eat pizza when you're driving. Got it. Okay. I mean, it gets the message across, definitely. But I just think that it's a bit too traumatic. When you are walking and listening to your music, would you agree that you're in sort of your own little bubble? You're in yeah. your own little world? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do any of you actually sort of daydream when you're listening to songs? Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. Okay, one thing that came out of the focus groups is that shocking advertising was not effective. You saw the 16 to 18 year olds were laughing and making pizza jokes about the shocking advertising, whereas the older groups felt patronised and um, were not very impressed by it at all. Uh, so we really wanted to stay clear of this. Um, another thing that you noticed is that when we mentioned the idea of being in your own bubble when you're walking along the street listening to your iPod or on the phone, all of the people in the focus group understood this concept. Uh, so basically the bubbles is the main theme and the concept of our campaign. So we want to show this literally with people who are distracted walkers walking around in giant bubbles in the street. So if you can imagine a busy street, perhaps West Key in Southampton, and um, the people who are distracted walkers are in their huge giant bubbles and everyone else is normal. When you go into their bubble, you can see what they see, feel what they feel and share their agenda. But when you come back out of their bubble, you can hear the warning sounds and see the busy street. Uh, the lorries reversing, uh, traffic lights bleeping, um, and road wipes, all those kinds of sounds. Uh, and then as someone in their bubble goes to cross the road, an oncoming car comes along and bursts their bubble, water flies everywhere, all over the bonnet, liquid down the drain, and in front of the car all you can see is a puddle of liquid with an iPod in the middle. Now whilst we didn't have the budget to show this kind of concept in the television advert, this is the story that we wanted to tell through the... So our campaign objectives then were to create awareness with the target audience around the dangers of being a distracted walker. We also wanted to ensure that at least 500 young people signed up to the campaign website, which Kat will tell you more about in a minute. Also to drive at least 1,000 hits per month to the campaign website. We wanted to generate a good and positive spread of media coverage and ultimately decrease the amount of uh, accidents caused by distracted walkers in line with the Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service goal of 40% by the end of 2010. So before we started to plan this campaign, some market research was conducted and from this we found 11 different behavioural segments amongst teens and young adults. Uh, the behavioural segments are divided into male and female segments and for the females they are the job gets, insta socialites, most likely to succeed, style meets thrift and traditionalists. For the male segments there are the young metrosexuals, big man on campus, red blooded boys, techno sapiens, tune inwards and under construction. So we took this into account to create our own unique characters which we believe embody different personality traits that everybody can relate to. And these characters will be uh, emphasised and incorporated throughout the campaign. So firstly, meet the jock. His name is Tom and he listens to Dizzy Rascal and his iPod and his common saying is good times. This is Claire, she's the style queen. She listens to her best friend Taylor on her Blackberry phone and her common saying is OMG. The girl in love is Sophie and she listens to her boyfriend Tim on her pink Motorola phone and she's always saying I can't wait to see you again. The indicator is Sam, he listens to Kings of Leon 